Well, my name is Mike Bryan. I'm the Director of Natural Resources for the Forest Preserves of Winnebago County. We are out here at Cedar Cliff Forest Preserve to talk about our Bell Bowl Prairie Salvage Project. In April of 2023, the Rockford Airport began um, construction of a new road uh, that bisected Bell Bowl Prairie. And the first step to that project was them removing the kind of top four inches of topsoil of that prairie and putting it in a pile outside of the construction area. So we worked with them to save that pile um, so we could see what we could accomplish with that soil in a restoration project. So the idea is that that soil still contained a seed bank. It still had, you know, um, soil microorganisms, soil fungi, um, lots of good biota in it that we could potentially use to enhance our restoration. So we located a project area at Cedar Cliff Forest Preserve, which is about three miles away from the Rockford Airport from the original Belleville Prairie. And we moved about 145 cubic yards of soil to this site and kind of found a suitable site behind us um, with similar soils, uh, similar land legacy, and kind of spread it about um, to a depth of around four inches. So prior to that, um, this is one of our newer preserves. It was planted, restored to prairie in 2018, um, kind of uniformly across the site. So it was a young planting. There was a lot of bare ground um, and we kind of spread that Bell Bowl Prairie soil to a depth of four inches um, so that hopefully it wouldn't blow or wash away or otherwise erode and that any of the underlying prairie planting would be able to kind of pop up through there and we wouldn't be smothering it. So we did that in April of 2023 and then we just kind of watched it to see what happens. Um, first year was promising. We started seeing a couple nice prairie plants that we didn't think um, were in the greater restoration or that original seed planting. Um, and then this year has been fantastic, really. Um, we started seeing things like violet wood sorrel, hoary pacoon, um, small skull caps, uh, a couple of grasses, um, dicantheliums, porcupine grass, um, lots of conservative plants that aren't represented elsewhere at this site. Um, so we can, uh, the assumption is that they came in on in that soil. So whether it was seed or kind of roots or propagules, um, they came in with that um, bubble salvage soil. Um, it's not without its trade-offs. So compared to the, the adjacent areas, it's pretty weedy still, um, but we're working to battle those. It's a challenge. It can be. Um, stuff like spotted knapweed, um, smooth brome, um, wild parsnip aren't very well established at this forest preserve, but they are in that project area. So I guess the trade-off for us will be, are those rare plants that are coming up from the soil um, kind of worth the work it, it will um, take to keep it weed free? And I mean, so far the answer is yes. Um, we're really happy with the results and seeing those kind of rare conservative plants has been um, very neat. So the airport took off approximately 150 cubic yards of soil. 145 of that came here. Um, we took one dump truck load, about five yards or so, of soil to our Seaver Sindel's greenhouse facility, um, where we had volunteers kind of sift through there and find any, you know, plant root masses, um, clumps of stuff um, that we could out of that soil. And we potted those out into one gallon pots. And then we kept those at our greenhouse all summer long, grew them out, got them to nice, nice healthy sizes. Um, and then we did an inventory and we found over 30 native species um, that survived um, that construction effort. Um, stuff like lead plant, um, prairie sunflower, um, nice prairie things that we then brought back out here and planted um, adjacent to the bubble um, soil area. So we approached it from a couple, a couple different angles. So this has been an exciting project. Um, obviously the goal is to preserve these remnant prairies um, on site in situ and protect them in place. Um, but we are seeing neat things. So this project um, represents a new chapter for Bell Bowl Prairie. I mean, the genetics of those plants will live on in perpetuity here at Cedar Cliff Forest Preserve. So hopefully we've offered a reservoir for, you know, 
those soil biota, um, insects, you know, any of those um, companions to that prairie soil, you know, they now live here and that's exciting and we're excited to see what happens in the future with this project. There are future plans to develop a kind of trail spur that will take you right to the site. And I'll have some educational signage and some of the history of the project. Um, but right now it is undeveloped and it's just kind of scattered about the highest point of the preserve. If you're looking to get involved with this or other projects, we've held several work days out here um, pulling those invasive weeds like spotted knapweed, wild parsnip, sweet clover. Um, and there's more work to be done at here and other sites.